Skating normal rails gets boring, you know? I mean, I've skated so many rails since I was so young, and like, it just honestly gets kind of old. And like, skating kinked rails, it brings that like, new aspect to things. I learned about that spot from right now. Uh, we were on uh, Thrasher King of the Road trip, and uh, I think we were like headed the wrong way though, and uh, I told them, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that soon. <laughs> I mean, the rail's awesome. That rail's meant to get grinded. <laughs> If I, if I was walking down the street one day and I saw that thing, I was like, wow. I would, I would probably just try it right there just for fun, to be honest. I just, I liked everything about it. Just like the way the kinks were, the way the, where you get on is, everything. So I knew it was going down. I would say anytime you're like, gonna go to a gnarly spot to do a trick like that, you just, in my eyes, you just have to go there knowing that like, you're really gonna go for it and it's gonna go down, you know? It's just confidence. You can't go there being like, oh, I might try it. Yeah, I would say the main surprise when I was sessioning it was uh, that first slam. The first day I was trying it when I just like, I think I like got wheel by it or didn't wax it enough, I don't know, but I was so pissed on that fall because I was on it and I felt like that one was going down and then I just ate shit and I was like, how did that just happen? I was so confused. Yeah, the slams are gnarly. The bushes sucked. After the first day of trying it too, I went home, I had so many thorns in me. I was like laying in bed, I was about to go to sleep, I was so tired, and I was just like picking thorns out of like my knee, my arm, and I was like, dude, how many of those things are there? There's actually still one in my shin, and there's like a permanent bump in my shin now. <laughs> I'd say it took a total of like seven, seven, eight hours. And that, that was definitely maybe the longest actually it's ever taken me to land a trick. The fact that it was taking so long, I felt, I felt like everything was just against me, to be honest. I, feel, I felt like, I just wasn't supposed to land the trick because it got to the point where I was like sticking them and I feel, felt like I should have been rolling away and I wasn't and I was just like, dude, I feel like this just isn't going to happen. The shakiness of the rail was horrible. I was like, I was so over that. I think I thought about like trying to bondo it or cement it or do something to fix it. And then um, that second day I went back, I was just so hyped up to try it that I was over it. I was like, I need to start trying this. Once I was locked in to the, after the last kink, I knew it was going down because I was like right on top of it. I was really hyped obviously to land it, but it was really just relief. I think I just like rode away for a while and then just like laid in the grass and was like, wow, finally this went down. Yeah, not even just that trick. I would say a lot of the tricks in this part, I really had to work hard for. And it definitely brings you back to like that real love for skateboarding, you know? Just anytime you try a trick for that long and finally land it, you're you're so hyped. There's honestly like no other no other feeling like it. 